stories that are untold, underreported, and all out inspirational. Carrie Pena reports. Hey everyone, I'm Carrie Pena. Thank you so much for listening to Carrie Pena Reports on iTunes and Stitcher and for watching our live feed. You can always connect with us on Facebook at Inspired Media 360 or find us online at inspiredmedia360.com. And we do want to let you know that we have a new talk show that is coming out in just a few weeks. So stay tuned for details there. Very excited about that. So guys, it's our first show of the new year and we just had to invite one of our faves, Coach Dar. How you doing, Dar? I'm doing great. I am so excited to be here to kick off the new year with you all. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So did you take time off at the end of the year? Or how do you how does a motivational coach recharge? Yes, I, I absolutely took time. I went and surprised my family. They're all back in Connecticut and New York. And I don't know if that's recharging, but it's definitely re-energizing. <laughs> Your mom is full Italian. Oh, I love it. 100%. She's, She's all Italian. amazing. I love that video you showed me. So we went on a Disney cruise. Quick plug for Disney here. Um, it was incredible. I heard they're amazing. It was, I mean, the kids were occupied the entire time, had so much fun, met Mickey, Minnie, the whole crew, and it was just a beautiful experience. And so, then you get to have fun. And they're so they're in the entertainment business. Yeah. So they know how to entertain it was whether you're adults or kids. I highly recommend. And the nice thing was I unplugged. Yes. Totally unplugged. And yep. you know, I didn't go into withdrawals or anything. I just I let it all go. Yep. And got back and I have to tell you I feel very peaceful, excited about the new year, but I didn't, you know, open my email and stress mm-hmm. out when I saw like mm-hmm. thousands of emails come through. It's a good feeling. So, Dar, a lot of people know who you are. You're a sought after speaker um, and good friend of ours. We love you so much. So, you're giving a, a big keynote address and that's what we want to talk to you about today. Some of the tips that you're going to share with the audience. Um, this address all has to do with a mindset shift and in your estimation in your mind what does that mean well what happens is you know I, I go around coaching people and helping them whether it's in sports business or life and people say to me well does it matter which arena I said no because everything's the mindset so when you are going to start a goal or get over a fear or go after something, you have to have the mindset for it. And sometimes you need to shift from old patterns to new patterns. You have yeah. to let go, it's not working. Just kind of like how you reset, you have to reset and recharge, but you have to make a shift in your mind to do that, that you're going to unplug when you just did. Yeah. So the mindset shift is everything that I've been doing. I actually am celebrating my 20 year anniversary as a therapist. Congratulations. Going, Thank you, this January and helping people shift their mind. So I call it the mindset shift. Mindset shift. I and love that. We've got to get people to shift their mind so they could see and not limit themselves because we are the only ones that limit us. Is and it really happens in our mind. It's that negative self chatter that happens. Yeah. So shifting to a positive mindset, shifting to what you want is gonna help you excel. And you are gonna lay out three key points. Listen up, level up, and lead up. We're gonna talk more about those points in just a second. Uh, but first, a little bit of a reflection about last year. It was mm-hmm. a really tough year for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Uh, the election had a lot to do with it. It was just draining no matter which side you were on. Right. What was your takeaway? You, you're out there talking to so many people. A lot of people felt deflated by the end of the year. That is actually a really great point because when I went around speaking or when I was coaching people, I actually, being an empath too, you feel everyone was hurting. They were scared and they were hurting. And it was almost a year of what's going to happen, this anticipation. There was a lot of anxiety and there was no peace within. And so I'm, I'm very glad that at this point now we've kind of closed that chapter. It is where it is, you know, no matter where you fell on that. but. Yeah. We all need to look at it that this is our year for you that you get to start with a clean slate. You get to determine how you want the year to go and you have to own it. Don't don't hand your keys over to anyone else. You own that power and it happens right here in your mind and in your heart. So uh, this past year was definitely a year, I think, of a lot of anxiety and fear and of, of unknown, but we have to go into this year with this mindset that we control what we can control every day. So let's talk to your uh, your points that you want to make. The first one being listen up. Mm-hmm. I, I think that is such a huge, huge um, attribute that people have when they can actually stop and listen and you can learn so much. Yes. 
So when I had to, when I wrote this keynote, it was for helping people coach up so that they could have the best year they can have. So this, anyone listening, this will apply. The first point is listen up. And so often we listen so we could respond and we're not really hearing what other people are saying. Sometimes people just wanna be heard, they don't wanna even need, they don't need a response. And we're so quick to just say something back to fix it. And you just need to pause, and you need to listen to them and hear them, because if you really hear them, you'll know whether you should respond, or you should just maybe touch their arm, or give them a hug, or just let them be. Um, they might be on the brink of just having to get some emotion out, but if you stop them, they're gonna kind of pull back in. Well, you know, it's funny that you say that because as a journalist, I think that's what makes people, when when you see really good interviewers, Mm -hmm. it's the ones who don't come in with a set of scripted questions and then just move on one to the next to the next. It's the ones who are really good interviewers are the ones who are really listening to what's being said and reacting to that, having a true, authentic conversation. Absolutely. And so a point for that, too, is look at people's eyes. Really look at them, Um, watch their body language because sometimes while they're speaking, their body language is telling you something that you'll know what to do. This also applies to ourselves, which is listen, if we could just slow down and listen up, listen up also means apply it to yourself, listen Mm -hmm. to yourself, listen to your intuition. What is your body telling you? Um, Sometimes our body's telling us what we need to do for exercise or for food or for just stopping. And if we don't listen, what happens? We get sick or we make the wrong decisions. And so I ask people this year as we start, you know, as much as I want you to charge, which is gonna be the next point, I first need you to listen to what it is that you really need to do this year, that you need to change and make different and listen to others so that you know how to respond. The next one is level up. What does that mean? So after we went from listening, which is the pause, which I just wanna say on listen, there's an acronym wait. Why am I talking? <laughs> Ask yourself that before you speak so I that I just wanna be able to say it like you. Why am I, I talking? <laughs> It sounds so much better. I love that. (laughs) Why am I talking? Why? (laughs) That's hilarious. I can't change that. (laughs) It's so good. I love it. (laughs) Um, But so after you pause to listen and really hear what either someone has to say uh, or what your intuition and self is saying, next you could move, which is level up. This is where I get extra passionate because once you're ready to go, it's time to go. This is where effort and action takes place. Listen, you could have the same year over and over and over till you're 75 unless you take action. Nothing's gonna change. So level up means taking your your life from a five to a 10. Level up. Because a lot of times fear holds us back from so much. I mean, I just spent the last year building a media company Mm -hmm. and a lot of it was navigating a new path. That's not always easy. I didn't have a roadmap. I was just doing it. And sometimes there is fear, Right. but it was exhilarating to see the success that came with each month Mm -hmm. building, adding new great people and putting out all of this content that I feel so passionate about that all centers around inspiration. Um, And now we're poised to really go for it this year in such a big way. Um, But that was because I didn't let fear hold me back. You burned the ships and you went all in. Yeah, You really did. This was your commitment to say, I'm going to level up and I'm going to go all in because wouldn't it be better? Isn't it better now to say, I'm so glad I tried rather than to say, I wished I had? Yeah. I mean, it, it is truly what you're saying, 100%. I've lived that. So I love that point. What about lead up? Okay, so now that we listened and now we put in the action and we're leveling up and we're going to give our best effort, we're going to ask for a 10 level life. Um, now it's time to lead up, which is leading up is having a, being one of good character. It's showing that your actions speak louder than your words because you hear people talking all the time but they're not doing what they say. And we need more leaders to step up and do what they say, to to lead with authenticity and have a genuine heart into things. So often people get hurt because they'll see someone and then who they are who they portray is not who they are. Right. Or they say, I'm going to do something and they don't follow through with it. That I find to be very odd. You know, if you're going to say something, I'll call you back. Or It's not that difficult to follow through on those (laughs) things, especially in the business world. I think that's so bizarre people who um, don't follow through because it makes you seem 
I mean, flaky right. at the very least, right. you know? So lead up. I love that. Which is trust. You just had a good point because if you could trust someone, you'll do business with them. Yeah. You'll enter some sort of relationship with them. So leading up is one of integrity. And I want people, I'm really charging people to lead this year a life of integrity, of good character, and be a servant leader. Really do what you're going to say. Honor people and, you know, sh- help people reach their greatness too. Yeah. We all rise up when we help other people rise up. Well, you know, I'll give you a quick example. So at the end of last year, I put up a, a post on Facebook. I don't know if you saw this, but it, it went viral. And it was all about this this um, Helen's Hope chest. And they yes. supply clothing for, for foster children all over Arizona. It was just a very simple post that I had found out that they were lacking in certain uh, mm-hmm. clothing items. And so many people wrote to me saying, how can we help? Mm-hmm. And I, so I set up a different points where people could drop off donations and I was amazed and so happy at how many people followed through I mean we had carloads of donations Mm -hmm. because you know sometimes have good intentions Mm -hmm. people do they'll write hey I'll get you some donations but they don't always follow through right people followed through in mass that is so it made me feel great. so good i remember reading that and yeah there people do want to they want to serve and they want to help yeah and i think if we could keep encouraging everyone not just at christmas you know not just on pay it forward day yeah. but all year, all year and leading up is is even like i said um last time i was on which is raise the bar it's doing the little things all the time uh, a, a quick story I have on that is the pastor that I had in Nashville, he had said that he always buys his wife flowers every time he goes shopping. So a little kid saw him in the grocery store and he was following him and he didn't know what he was following. And it wasn't until he went and picked up the flowers that the little kid said, oh, I'm so glad you do what you say. That is so beautiful. So you never know who's watching is the point. And that when you're a leader in any way, which if you are if you are right here existing, you're leading because someone's watching your actions and a little kid or someone else is going to either learn from you or be hurt from you. Yeah, and all of that has to do with integrity. Integrity. So how do you feel about making resolutions? I'm not a fan of resolutions. Uh, I don't, I, I, I ask people to write goals, but I ask them to write visions. I ask them to write their dreams out first. I want them to get excited. So if, I, if someone said to me, you know, Dar, I wanna lose 10 pounds. Tony Robbins actually has a really good point on this. He said, if someone comes and says, I wanna lose 10 pounds, it's, a, it's more negative. But how about, I just wanna feel great this year. I wanna feel the best I could possibly be. So I'm going to try to get out and move three times a week. So that's much more invigorating than writing, I wanna lose 10 pounds. Where is the inspiration in that? Right. So every year I do it and I encourage people to to write out what they see, what the visions are and be inspired and then back it up. So it's not so much a resolution because people feel failure and negativity to that. It's more of write your inspirations for the year and get inspired by it. Can you share a couple of yours? So I already wrote out this year that I would have completed my book. So the vision is that it'll be completed, that it'll be done. So I put that out for this year that um, I will be helping out with hosting a show that uh, you and I had talked about a little bit. Wheels in motion there. Yep, yep, yep. So I have those and... Oh gosh, I have a list of 20 that I wrote out, but those are the top two that come to mind right away. I think it's great to write things out. I mean, in mm-hmm. fact, uh, our producer Shannon walked in today and I had my whiteboard out here and it's full. He goes, whoa, you've been busy. Because <laughs> I have very, I, I have done that too, where I write out the goals yes. and it, you see it's actionable. Yes. You know, you want to get to it. And, and one of, at the very top of my list is just really inspiring more people. Mm-hmm. We're creating a lot of new content and mm-hmm. the show that I talked about off the top, um, by the way, it's going to be called In the Moment and it all has to do with how to live a better life on all levels. That's inspiring so, in itself. Thank you. I'm realizing a dream there. What's the one big piece of advice you want to leave everyone with? You have this one life. You have this one chance. This is a new page. It's a new chapter. It's a new year. You get to hit the refresh button. So take this time and go after what you've always wanted to do, whether it's calling someone and telling them how you feel, whether it's a dream that you've always wanted to act on, whether it's just something small about having a hobby or making time for you. I don't know what it is, but don't wait until it's the end of the year or don't wait till someday. Someday may never come. So now's your time to act. And if you don't act, then who will? If you don't 
do what you want, then then what is this life for? So I just encourage people to take action, to make this year the best they could possibly make it, and to live a life of no regrets. Go all in. I love it. That's why we love having you back on the show. I texted Shannon this morning. I said, Dara's coming on today. So we, we are part of our family. Thank you so I'm much, so Dara. Grateful. Where can people find you? You could follow me uh, on Instagram at, at... She's a big Instagrammer. Yes, I love Instagram. You could go at, <laughs> at the Coach Dar. You could follow on Facebook, which is Darlene Santor. And my website is CoachDar.com. So I hope you follow along. And Twitter is at the Coach Dar. But they're just little nuggets of inspiration. So I hope you'll pay that inspiration forward. Dar, thank you so much. Thank and you. thanks to all of you for listening and watching us. We appreciate all of you. Uh, today's show produced and engineered by Shannon Hernandez. Brought to you by Inspired Media 360. Until next time, stay inspired.